when we looked at the side effect profile, they generally fell into three categories. There were some that were more um, common with axitinib that generally will, were what we would consider on-target effects, VEGF inhibition effects, uh, namely high blood pressure. And that's been a very classic uh, response to these agents, especially the more potent agents. There was a group of side effects that appeared roughly equivalent between the arms, things like fatigue, um, diarrhea, mucositis, other GI side effects. The, both the all-grade and the severe-grade toxicities were roughly comparable. And then there were three side effects that appeared more common in serafinib-treated patients, namely hand-foot syndrome, uh, rash, and alopecia. So again, you know, uh, different patients are going to have different benefit and also different toxicities, and that's just part of the equation of, of how you approach patients. But um, uh, you know, when I first saw the data, I was you know, pleasantly surprised how, how well tolerated exitinib was. And I think its side effects are less bothersome to patients. So high blood pressure is relatively easily controlled and not terribly bothersome as opposed to hand foot syndrome, uh, which can significantly impact a patient's quality of life.